Welcome to the Windows Computer and Technology channel. And um, a couple of you have been asking me because you see that I'm using Windows 11. And I'm actually using it on my main gaming computer, which is a computer I use every day, which of course is something that I do not think everybody should do. I do it because I know that I can get out of my problems if there are problems that arise. Um, and of course, a lot of you are saying, well, that it seems stable since you have it on your main machine and everything is all right. And so, of course, the question that uh, some of you have been asking me is, have you noticed any bugs or problems while using it? And, you know, I look a lot at the blog posts from different uh, websites what people are talking about, people that are using it in the Insider Rings, uh, even on my Windows Insider channel, what people are talking or complaining about. And are trying to find a, uh, you know, what what's wrong or not with Windows 11 in general. Well, the main, the real big problem, the main problem that actually happened to me was last week, when all the icons in the Start menu wasn't there anymore in the taskbar, which was the first big blunder of Microsoft, anyways, because it apparently is Microsoft that tried to, uh, um, you know, kind of push an ad for Microsoft Teams and they crapped up. So um, that is already something that is worry, worrying uh, for, a, you know, just a few weeks before we release Windows 11. The uh, other thing that um, I would say, what other, um, you know, weird issue, I noticed that there's a very, uh, quite a high number of people that are moving from Windows 10 to Windows 11 and say that their taskbar isn't working uh, with the start menu, and that's a, a, a different thing. Enough that a lot of people have simply rolled back because it just doesn't work well. So that is a known issue, and it's been a known issue for a while, and we're a couple of weeks away from release. So, you know, that, of course, is something that another point to worry about. Uh, and that, that is probably the dominant problem I see from a lot of people. The fact that a lot of their, that that, that taskbar doesn't work well. So um, that is kind of, you know, um, um, a problem, honestly, because uh, without, you know, icons and, and start menu in the taskbar, it's kind of complicated to run a computer. Personally, on my computer, apart from that bug that Microsoft created uh, with that uh, ad, um, any glitches, anything weird that I found, uh, definitely. There's a few things that I noticed. A lot of the things that I noticed were mostly on the file explorer in ways that you actually go and um, interact with the a file system and you know uh, they've changed a lot of the stuff so when you click on something and you right click a lot of what you need to do is icons rather than a contextual menu directly so you've got to realize that this has changed and you know one of the things it's not that I hate it but one of the things that I realize is that people even though when you put your mouse pointer over it people will need to know what the icon means okay a cut this is a copy you know and once you copy then you have the option to paste so that's another thing uh, what is actually paste and how it's gonna work so you have to understand that once you copy you have to paste it somewhere and so on um, all of that is icons rather than contextual menu words that might actually be a problem for a lot of people. Um, where I had some issues is, for example, when you right click something and I want to open with, I've had issues where this flashes or disappears, that I've had a few issues, not all the time. It does it uh, from time to time. So like right now, it's okay. It's telling me what, what do you wanna open it? Do you wanna search for another app to open it or so on? But when it does it, when I go to open with, it flashes and it disappears. And it's like I got to do it three or four times before it actually works. Um, to a point where I actually applied some defaults to some of the different um, files 
to make sure that when I double click, they just open directly with that. Uh, so, you know, there are some glitches in Windows 11. There are some little things. I know a lot of people are saying that they're using apps and they're actually using the, uh, um, you know, drag and drop features that in a lot of apps doesn't work. So that's another thing. You know, you have to be creative and find the workaround on how do I do what I was doing in that way. Uh, that's a few things. And, you know, I really hope that these are fixed for October 5th because it's a problem. Um, one of the things a lot of people complain, the taskbar not being centered with the start menu and the icons displaying kind of weird. Uh, so there are some weirdness there that people have seen. Uh, I've seen sometimes... Um, in my case, it's it's been rare. I, I think I've seen it once or twice, but I haven't seen it in a while. So maybe it could have been fixed. Some of the options within the settings app actually created my computer, made my computer crash. Um, but it, it seems to be something that is fixed now. So hopefully that's going to be okay. And it's going to work well. This bug that you see here is one that has been since the beginning of the um, operating systems, or the, uh, the Windows 11 system. You notice I just chose a background theme or background wallpaper picture. And it's actually a theme because it wants me to go in dark mode at the same time. Notice how the screen is now blank and I have to go back to settings. And this is every machine I have does this. It's not unique to this computer. It's also something that a lot of people have been talking about. I'm going to go back here. I'm going to re, I'm going to change the light team, go back to the dark team. And uh, now it's off. It's fine. So there's these little glitches that they're not intense. They're not big, but they're there. And they're showing that, you know, when I did my video a couple of minutes ago talking about how I would really wait. <laughs> before installing this, uh, some of these little things might kind of drive you crazy a little bit. Uh, and um, pretty much everybody that you talk to that uses Windows 11, and I mean, this is the beta version, which is what's coming out in October, all will all tell you of a little glitch or a little something that they've noticed that um, is weird. So that's why... <laughs> I think it's rushed a little, um, even though in terms of stability, I've had no crashes, no blue screens or black screens or whatever, um, no error message of any kind. It It is stable. It's just that there's all of these little weirdness around the system that at some point you're like, yeah, really, you're going to release that like that. Okay. Um, you know, even Windows 10, when it was released, it some of the things seemed unfinished, but there were no weird quirkiness of use that didn't work, you know, and especially on basic things like you know copy paste or you know drag and drop uh, stuff like that. You're like, that's weird because it's these are things that a lot of people use every day. So uh, this is my personal take on some of the little weirdnesses in Windows 11 that I've found out. And that's why I'm saying to everyone, you know what? Just wait. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe. Give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.